Hi, welcome to Primetime Pickleball. My name is Jordan Briones, and in today's video, we're going to talk about creating offense with the step back dink. Let's jump right in. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. Uh, like I said in the intro, we are going to talk about the step back dink, okay? In a lot of videos that we sh share and teach with you, and for the majority of the time, I want players to make sure that they're up at the non-volley zone line so that they can take advantage of being closer to the net and trying to hit the ball down. But in this video, so specifically, we're gonna talk about a way that you can create offense by actually stepping back, which uh, I call the step back dink, and it's going to help you create offense when you're dinking, okay? So I have my wife, Katrina, here, uh, and it is, it is exactly what it sounds like. I'm going to be dinking like so, like right up at the line. And let's say you and your partner are having good dink rallies, like in a, in a match, but you can't seem to create any offense. If they're hitting great, uh, unattackable dinks, which uh, forces you to contact the ball below the net every time, the step back dink is something that you can um, try to implement in your game okay so um, instead of just dinking everything right here I'm actually gonna step back into a closed position so this is open my, my shoulders and my chest is facing uh, my opponent but with a step back dink I'm gonna take a as a right hander I'm gonna take my right foot and step back to more of a closed position here so that I have a, a variety of options I could either just dink it back or I could try to kind of roll the dink to her feet, or I could, I'm, I'm in a position here to hit a, a fast um, little flick ground stroke, okay? So this is something that can really create that offense and um, really mix it up with, with the shots that you're giving your opponent, okay? So here we go. So I'm gonna just dink a little bit right here. So let's say we're pay, playing a point right here. She's hitting really good, unattackable shots, okay? And then I'm going to show you, I'm going to step back now, and maybe I could attack down the line like that. Okay, so it, it's really, it gives you more options when you're in this close position, and for your opponent, they're going to think, okay, so now that he's stepped back in this position, they, they're, they're not sure whether to defend or whether to, you know, just just try to stay and try to block the ball. And they, they don't know, I can either roll it um, at the feet, I could dink it again, or I could speed it up down the line or towards the middle of the court. So they have a lot of different scenarios which they're gonna have to defend now, okay? So here we go. So I chose to just dink that ball right there. Okay, good dink. Okay, so I'm not stepping back on, on every ball, sorry. But on the balls that land a little bit deeper, closer to the non-volley zone line, okay? Th those are the ones I could kind of step back and kind of set up and see where my opponent is, okay? If, if she's, if my opponent's a little bit off the line, I could either just push it more at her feet, and then if I think that they're not ready for a fast ball, I could try to speed it up, okay? Here we go. Good, good dinking. Okay, I chose to dink that one. Okay, so that was just a, that was like a, um, a medium pace shot to the backhand side, okay? And, and that, and I created that by stepping back and getting into this position where I have a lot of options to go down the line across court. Okay, we'll do a couple more. So the, the important thing is if you do step back, I don't have a problem with people stepping back, but what happens is you don't wanna get into this mindset where you're stepping back and you stay back here, you're off the non-volley zone. You'll see the top of the top players do this step back dink to create shots, but one thing that is separates them from lower level players is if they step back at all off the non-volley zone, they're always back every time after that shot, okay? So here we go, let's play a rally out. So I could just roll dink it there. That was really short, so I'm gonna choose to actually could attack that one, but 
I missed my opportunity there. Good, okay. So that was the same shot. So it also works on this side. So you'll see a lot of top players from the odd side of the court. Um, we're gonna dink backhand to back or cross court. So we're gonna dink, she's gonna dink to my backhand, but you'll see a lot of players because usually uh, if you're, a, if you're a, a regular player, your forehand is probably going to be stronger than your backhand side. Now, if, if it's the opposite, then you're, you know, that's a rare uh, case. But usually, it's a lot easier to create offense off your forehand. So this is, this is something that I'm talking about stepping back and really highlighting your, your forehand side, which, op which could create a lot of offense, okay? So... So we're getting to this rally cross court. Here we go. Okay, so see I'm stepping back, try to hit that forehand. Oh, got clear the net there. Here we go. Okay, stepping back. Way shows to just dink that. Okay, so that was just a just a forehand roll there. That dink didn't actually sit up too high, but I took some a little bit of pace off of it, and I just I'm just kind of extending my, my arm, okay? Um, so let, let's dink a little bit more. So try to keep it on my backhand side, okay? So I'm hitting um, backhand dinks here. Okay, trying to mix it up, trying to make her move. Okay, running around my backhand now. Trying to find the, the step back dink. I can try to speed up a ball or create some sort of offense okay that was the same thing okay so um it's it's definitely something you're going to have to practice i'm not saying that this is something you should do every time but you will see top players using this this footwork um tactic to really initiate and create their offense okay it doesn't you're not trying to hit a winner from this step back dink what, what it does it's going to create some sort of space um between you and your uh between your opponent so that the court opens up okay so either i can choose to speed up the ball um to her left or right hip or i, I can just act like i'm going to speed it and i'm just kind of like maybe rolling it at their feet and maybe they get a pop-up a really high ball that i could then put away okay so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one if you enjoyed this video please give it a like. Thanks so much for watching. For more free video lessons, please visit primetimepickleball.com. But before you head on over there, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, for primetime pickleball shirts like this and other great apparel, please visit ptpgear.com.